Hello friends, welcome back to Graceful Living and welcome to all of you that are new here today. In today's video, we are going to be decorating my kitchen area for summer. Now, if you've been around for the last couple of weeks, you will know that I have kicked off my summer decor and it is very Americana and vintage inspired and I'm loving it. And I know so many of you are as well. I want to thank you so much for all your sweet comments as of late. And I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. I've really had a boost here lately and I am so excited and extremely thankful that you decided to join our little family here. I do want to kind of show you again what I'm going to be using. I am going to be using my flags. I want to marry these sections together. And then I will have a couple more summer decorate videos for you coming up in the next couple of weeks just as I bring it all together. I want to do our front porch area and a little bit in the living room and just maybe some rearranging. So I hope that you will look forward to that. But for now, let's get started on today's video. Now, when it comes to the decor that I'm going to use for my kitchen area, pretty much all of it is things that I've already had on hand or created in the last few months. This topiary is one of the things that I created for my spring decor, and I went ahead and added a transfer to the terracotta pot. I purchased these transfers at Dollar Tree, and I am just loving them. Little things like cookie cutters, I'm actually going to be using this one as a riser, but I love using my star cookie cutters during the summer months just to add a little bit to a vignette. I will be using moss, of course, and my flags. I did pick up a couple more flags and tea stained those. And then these are actually my silver trays from Dollar Tree that I painted with my antiquing wax and then blotted off with a paper towel for some added texture. So I've got two of those and I just love doing that. They look very authentic in my opinion and it's at a fraction of the price. So we'll go ahead, head over here on this side. I have more decor. Now I don't know that I'm going to use everything, but this is what I gathered together. Here are some more of my flags that I recently tea stained. It's so super easy. I have a couple more things. This picture here is so gorgeous. I want to thank my friend Donna for picking that up for me. She found that at a thrift store and I absolutely love it. Of course, more books. And then I got another gift over here. That's from my friend Kathy. She picked this up just this week. I fell in love with this. There is just so much detail to it. It is a sugar bowl. I don't know if they actually call it a bowl, but it is for sugar. Of course, I'll go ahead and use my lace top apothecaries, my riser that I absolutely love and enjoy using just about every season. It is incorporated somewhere. And then just a couple wood elements to the mix and I think we'll call it good. Now, I did go ahead and just set all of my green canisters here. I will probably get questions on these. I always do. They are about 15 years old and I purchased them at Ross for probably five to $8, I think is what the price band was. Um, if I ever come across them online or anything like that, I will definitely let you all know. Let's go ahead and turn this around and get started.
Now there are a few things I always try to keep in mind when I am decorating the kitchen. The first is I try to disguise or cover up all the outlets on this back wall. It is our focal wall here in this space, so I like it looking as nice as possible, and I just feel like covering these up is one way to do it. The next is to remember where my workspaces are and leave those areas open for me or anyone else that might be using these counter surfaces. Now, I love a decorated area, but it also needs to be functional as well. And the last thing I will always try to remember and I don't want to forget to mention is that I try to keep the area around the stove safe and keeping the decor a little bit away from any open flames. Now, if you have been around my channel for very long, you will know that I try my very best to use what I have on hand over and over again when it comes to decor. Now, trying to come up with new ways or areas around the house to display this decor becomes a sort of a challenge to me that I want to do my very best in trying to find a way to make it look different or even brand new. Now, I will say keeping budget-minded has always been of great importance to me because I have been a homemaker for almost 26 years now, and though I have brought in a little extra income here and there, I haven't done so the whole entire time. So making sure that I could stretch a dollar has always been really, really important to me, no matter how much our family income has evolved over time and as of late with the prices seeming to soar in just about every avenue of life I want to take on a challenge for myself and try to do a little bit more so I am really aiming to not make another decor purchase this summer now if I can make that stretch out for a longer period of time then even better
moving on, I did decide to dress up this coffee bar area with a banner that I have had for years and years. Now you can see me measuring it out across the countertop just to see how many pieces will actually fit across the wall behind the appliances. To adhere it to the wall, all I am going to do is use a dab of hot glue at each end, letting the glue cool just a little bit before sticking it to the wall will ensure a quick release for me once I want to remove it for the next season. Now, I think it looks perfect here and I am so glad I was finally able to use this banner. Another item that I am sure to get questions on is this iron shelf and unfortunately I do not have good news for you. This is another old find from many, many years ago at Hobby Lobby. And then I have my beautiful new dough bowl. It is another gift from my sweet friend and pastor's wife. She is such a sweetheart and I appreciate her more than words can express.
earlier, I took a couple minutes to share with you about my spending goal for the summer when it comes to decor. And I just want to encourage you that when you are looking around your home to look at things in a different light. I think we can find beauty beyond the brand new. Take a moment to move things around, think out of the box a little, and be encouraged when you find that special piece, a new home in your house because you've just saved yourself a little extra cash. And when it comes to making these wise choices and budgeting, I think the Lord is happy with that. The Bible teaches us to be careful how we live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity. Alright friends, I am going to begin to bring this video to a close, but before I go, I just want to thank each and every one of you for coming along with me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and maybe gained some inspiration for your own home. Now, if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and becoming a part of our Graceful Living family. All you need to do is hit that little red subscribe button right down below. It's absolutely free and we would love for you to be a part of our Graceful Living family. But for now, I want to wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.